The following conversation and podcast is pretty powerful. Or while it's short because we had some technical difficulties, me and Jordan Potts, the owner of Exalted Performance up in the sunny coast of Australia, we talked about coping strategies in dealing and adapting with adversity and misfortune that just happened to occur in the middle of the recording. So we went into that conversation. We went into how do we practice detachment, the techniques we both use and the mentality to which we both approach detachment and detaching our emotion from the adversity, chaos, and misfortune of life. And lastly, we finish with some really good live breathing techniques that Jordan takes me and whoever's listening and watching us through. So I encourage you towards the end of the podcast, find yourself some quiet space to practice and go along with the breathing for us. If you're stressed, wound up, and just going through some tough, challenging times right now, it will change your state. I know it did for me, and I hope it does for you, and you enjoyed the short conversation that although we did get into some pretty heavy, vulnerable topics in the hour of footage and audio that unfortunately we lost because it was corrupted, talked about some things that I'd never talked about before and opened up in ways I didn't open up about before, but like Jordan said, we'll rub our hands together and make fire again. We will have this conversation again later in the year, and it will work, but I hope you enjoy this conversation in the meantime. Technical difficulties um, overcame, overcome. Speaking of adversity, <laughs> <laughs> life has a very, very easy way of doing that, it seems. Oh, man, every time, every t- it's like when something goes wrong, right? However, little, small, I mean, you decide how big or small it is, but like when something goes wrong, it's like every moment like that is just a moment to just practice everything you've been talking about, everything you've been um you know, trying to get better at. Like, for example, I hate when the video on the camera fucks up and just, like, corrupts, right? Because we got the audio, cool, check, but the video just allows better distribution, there's better options, blah, blah, blah. It's got benefits. And so, okay, motherfucker, you saw it, and you said it, you said it to me, right? You said, oh, you saw it, don't be so attached to the outcome. And I'm like, oh, he's right. He's right. It's got to practice. What did you say? Do you remember exactly what you said? It just came in the moment. <laughs> it just came in the moment. I just said, basically, we get so attached to these things and when they don't go right, we yeah. feel like it's like, fuck. It, it, it's like, but every every moment is perfect. Every moment to come will be perfect. Like, it's what you make of it. So, you know, we just had some challenges. The podcast said to Alex, <laughs> this is simple, bro. If we don't, if we don't launch this one, we'll we do- sit back down, yeah. rub our hands together and we create fire again. <sighs> It's like, there's no point hanging on to it. It's like when people hang on to the past, yeah. they're just dragging that heavy fucker. Come on, I wish, come on, I wish it was different. Let it go. Fuck, you'll be free. Yeah. Just, how, do you, how do you practice that? Just letting go when shit doesn't go your way. <laughs> breathe. Motherfucker, take a big breath in. You, breathe, you literally breathe the problem in. <laughs> Trap it, feel the tension, and then you just... And the more of those relaxing exhales that you just choose to let go of. You can hang on to your breath if you want. You can hold your breath. But if you choose to let go, when you exhale, there's actually physiological benefits. They've proven that it releases tension out of the body. So if you feel like there's tension, just fucking let it go. And you, and you want to even, you want to like a fog a mirror. You want to sigh. So it's like not a forceful breath out. It's... And then hold it, and then you just literally... Man, you feel your shoulders, your traps, you feel your spine relax, your jaw, and then instantly, ooh, 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 there we go. (laughs) Man, breathing. You know what's so great about that is the added visualization to it too, Mm. like breathe in your problem, hold it, feel it, just wrestle with it. And then just uh, fucking oh melt melt, and that's why like for me for me breathing is a daily practice yeah. that I will use. It's it's like a it's like a psychology session with myself, and not even a, a, a single word has to be spoken. I just lay on my back, I catch up with Uncle Wim, <laughs> Wim off. Put put Uncle Wim on, tune into Uncle Wim and just breathe, motherfucker. Like yeah. seriously. You will feel all of the tension, your perspective, 
you know, your anger, your frustration, your sadness just dissolves, just f- gone. And then you, you, you end up laying on your back feeling like you're this floating piece of paper, mm. just floating in existence, but you're laying on the floor and then next thing you just start to come back into your body and that shit's gone. You have a clean slate. The problem's still there, but you have a whole new perspective. You have this mindset of, I can only control what I can control. So what am I going to control? I'm not going to worry about other people. I'm not going to stress out about what the news is telling me or doing this. Like this, this whole COVID thing, man. Man, it's got people all riled up. They're, oh, what's going to happen? You know what? Lay on your back and fucking breathe. I bet you'll feel better. Mm-hmm. Like I've had some of the most phenomenal experiences with people when they're stressed out, when they're anxious, when they're depressed, and we lay down and we do, sometimes we do up, upwards of an hour of just breathing. Really? And man, time goes like that. Like Go a whole on. session? Whole session. Will, you, will they know breathe. they're walking into that or you'll, you'll change it on the fly? Oh man, I've got PT clients and if they turn up to me stressed, I'm, like, I'm not inducing stress into your body right now. There's no way I'm going to train you. Are you kidding me? going to have a worse effect. You're going to get in your car all rolled up with even more cortisol in your body. You're going to feel shit ass tomorrow. So if I, if and this is for, for you know, some of my one-on-ones who are adults and they might have like business or, you know, something's going on with their partner. You can sense it straight away. You sense when someone's stressed out. It's a weird energy. So they come in. First thing, if I, if I, I always assess their energy. Yo, how how you doing? How you feeling? Yeah, what's been happening? And you can sense it straight away. Eh, oh yeah, nah, nah, I'm not. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get into it. That's that's probably the most common. Let's just get into it. It's like, let's get straight into breath work. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we'll get into yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get into it. And man, even ten minutes, and I can feel them fully. You can just feel the energy. The energy starts to dissipate, starts to relax. A whole new people, and they're always like, "Thank you so much." Like this is, Wim talks about it. These are ancient tribal techniques that, you know, people have used, humans have used for centuries, thousands of years to regulate their emotions, regulate the chemical responses in their body. But it's not being taught at school. It is now, actually. I'll take yeah, that yeah, back. No, yeah. I'll take that back. It's great. S- um, Smiley Mind. Smiley Mind is an app that the government's got that a lot of teachers are using in schools now. Yeah. Teaching kids how but to But when we mindful. came up, it wasn't. Man, it was no way. If you're angry, get over it. If you're angry, stop being angry. It yeah. wasn't take a big breath, squeeze that motherfucker, and then relax. Man, I've got kids with like autism, Asperger's, learning difficulties, like all these things, emotional challenges, and they come in, we throw a tennis ball against the wall and they're trying to put a hole in the wall <laughs> and I teach them take a big breath and I call it a warrior breath because I want them to feel empowered so let's take a warrior breath fully in all the way and then squeeze it and then let it go That's man these kids if we're throwing at a target they'll hit that target like it brings you it centers, centers you, you. It brings you into performance. It brings you into clarity. Mm. It allows the brain and the body to connect without blockages. It's <sighs> epic. And this is sim- like you can literally just tell someone to have a big breath, pause, relax. Now, I'm not going to call it a method because it's, it's, just, just, it's just breathing. Just breathe more. Just different tempos and holds. It's, there is rabbit hole among rabbit hole. And there's so many different ways to go into breath work, but just start breathing deeper and more consciously. But that's, that's my emotional regret. And, and to the point where if I'm super whacked out, if I'm stressed about something, if my perspectives change and it's causing me anxiety or if it's causing me frustration or angry ang- anger, I can feel it in my body, I'll separate myself from the environment and I'll go and do some breath work. Mm. And I come back to that environment, reset, ready to go with a whole new outlook on that challenge. That's big. Separating yourself from the environment, that's really smart. Because if you're in the same environment that's triggering those emotions, it'll stay the same. Mm. So separate, disconnect, breath work, reset, center, ground, ground yourself, then revisit with a new perspective. And as you get better, you don't need to separate yourself. Yes. Because you start to become aware of what triggers you. 
Okay. So, for instance, man, one of my biggest triggers, oh, yeah. technology, like we were just saying, <laughs> I can be on the laptop. Yeah. Now, I'm not a very technological person, so I can be on the laptop, you know, sorting through leads and doing calls and whatever. And if for some reason it freezes on me, yeah, it just happened here, man. I I've in the past been like a volcano, You've broken some shit, huh? Nah, nah, nah. Haven't broke. I oh, in my teens, yes, I broke some shit, but recently, like. Now that everything's getting a lot more busy, I'm yeah. business is booming. Yeah, I can't break shit. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> the stakes are higher. Yeah. I've, a- got, I've got to have, uh, and I also have a lot higher level of awareness. Yeah, so I can pause and just <sighs> maybe these people weren't meant to call, be called today. Maybe this wasn't meant to happen. What can I do instead? All right, like, yeah, you know, just being tested. That's and and this will happen in all different cases. It might happen with a bully and a trigger. It might happen with your partner. And a trigger. It might happen with your family members. It might happen at work. It might happen when a red light goes, you know, goes red, and you were late, and it's your fault that you're late, but you're angry at the light for going red. You're angry at the light. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Fucking red light, <laughs> dude. You woke up. You snoozed your alarm. You shouldn't be angry. Yeah, we're so weird. We're such so chimps, good. bro. Like fucking red light. Da da da. This that. No, it's us. It's all us. It's how oh, we man. respond. It's yeah. It's it's. It is, it's honestly, it's not what happens to you, it's how, how you, you respond. respond. And that's just a, a repeating theme in people who are successful yeah. in their life. You see it, hectic shit happens. Some people just, all right, this, this is it. I start to play games with myself. Like, I have to, because it's like, all right, how am I going to get through this, okay? You know, okay, I'll give, I'll give a rough general example. All right. If you live at home, you're with your family, with your parents, you're with your siblings, right? When they experience trauma and stress and anxiety and they go through hardship, well, you all go through it with them, okay? And they may turn to you for uh, to vent, to let out all of what's inside of them. And where does that go? It goes in you. Mm. So now you have to deal with this, okay? And not only do you have to deal with all this stress and anxiety and emotion that you have absorbed, right, by just a natural proxy of just communication... You now have to keep doing all the things that you already been doing. Your training, your your business, your studying, your this, your that, right? So now it's a game. All right, motherfucker. You want to test me? You want to sh- you want to thrust this adversity and stress onto me? Okay. I'm not only going to go through it, but I'm going to still stay focused, laser focused. And through all of the things that I have to do, regardless of the shit that the universe is experiencing around me. Now it's being tested. All right. Because if I can stay focused through this, through the challenge, through the adversity, through the random chaos of life, through deaths, through illness, through all of the craziness. Oh, well then I can stay focused through anything. I'm just, I'm like in the eye of the storm. Just focused, just calm, calm in the eye of the storm. And so that's what I've been experiencing and trying to master recently. It's funny that you say that. You too? That's been my mantra. What? For the whole coronavirus outbreak, fucking worldwide meltdown. Uh My mantra when it all started happening was, I am the eye of the storm. And man, this has been the most calm in my entire life. Man, it's just... There can be so much shit circulating and you're just chilling out, calm, still, present. Yeah, there's going to be fucking breakages and shit going on. You know? There'll be trauma around you. Yeah. yeah. Be the eye of the storm. And, you know, shit's going to happen. Yeah. Don't pretend there isn't a storm. Life's a storm. Yeah. So just take on a different mantra. I love, I love it. And that shit just repeats in my head. What's that? Calm in the eye. Eye of the storm. Eye of the storm. Eye of the storm. Fuck eye of the tiger. I'm the eye of the storm. <laughs> what about people who don't have the skill set? They don't have the tools. Like, I know you try and teach them, right? And, and people like us, we try and equip them with the tools. But, like, the breath, right? That's really Is that really the biggest tool to staying calm in the chaos? Mm. I, definitely, I definitely think breath is the, the most fundamental thing in life I mean if you stop it you die ain't that the truth 
<laughs> like it's 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 yeah i try and think about like the fundamentals the first thing i teach is breath yeah because if you're in a calm state you can learn if you're in a stressed state there's fat chance that you're going to retain any information yeah let's let's reach a parasympathetic state let's let's reach a state where you actually have some awareness of yourself how you're responding and let's move from that position instead of, and yes yes we t- build up your tolerance in more stress, stressful situations cause bigger adaptation but it all comes through the breath if you stop breathing and so it's a it's a re-engagement with conscious deep breathing mm. But we do it before every session. How long? About five minutes. Okay. So that's yep. part of your warm-up, yep. your so preparation. We'll sit, we'll sit down. We talk about our uh, stoic philosophy point for the day. So we always go through. So the daily stoic is a point of philosophy for every single day of the year. So we have that up on the board and we discuss stoicism. And after that, we do about two to three rounds of breath. And it might be... Uh, it'll Breath will change. We've got so many different mob- modalities that we use. But we want to teach people that... You literally change your state by breathing. And in five minutes, you can go from A to B. You haven't done jack shit except for breathe. Mm -hmm. And you can go literally from hell onto a cloud vibing just because you took some breaths. Stop looking for other people. Stop drinking caffeine. Stop drinking, you know, or not stop drinking caffeine, but stop relying on coffee for energy. Stop drinking Vs. Stop wanting other people to give you compliments. Stop giving, you know, searching for things in other people. You've got it inside yourself. Just breathe. And you unlock everything you need. So we do that and it reaffirms the fact that they are in control. The One of the worst things about the fitness industry that I've realized is people come to you for answers when they have it already. It's in them. It is, it is in our innate knowledge, our DNA of how to be healthy. You weren't put on this earth to be an overweight, depressed, anxious, junky. Like, that's not our purpose our Mm. spirit was not designed for that yet we are so conditioned out of that knowledge that it takes a guide a sage a teacher a coach to to wake you up to the knowledge but man you ask kids you put in front of them like uh, without taking away jokes what's better a macca's burger or a salad like it they're not that dumb kids are aware of that stuff you know Yes, they might go, oh, the Mac is burger. <laughs> but like our innate knowledge, like, you know. We know what's going to be hot, like nutritious to our heart, soul and physical body and well, mind. Th- and this is why people feel guilty because they know they shouldn't be eating shit. But when they get it, they, they eat it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I feel so guilty. It's because you literally know your spirit does not want that stuff in your body. Just mouth pleasure. <laughs> We're all just after mouth pleasure. <laughs> okay. We're just... <laughs> yes. We'd love it. It's like this, your intuition is telling you how to be healthy, fit, and strong. And your conditioning is telling you otherwise. Ah, that's it. That's it. But if you listen to your gut feeling, you know you shouldn't be doing that. You know you shouldn't be taking heaps of drugs. You know you shouldn't be drinking heaps of alcohol. You know you shouldn't be bullying someone else. It doesn't feel good to... Ta- it does not feel good to harm someone else. Even... Even when you're angry at them because they've done something to you, it doesn't actually feel good to harm another human being. It doesn't. Not just physically, but you mean just just in general. Form. Unleashing pain on someone else deep down does not feel good. I, I'm I'm a strong believer in that. I don't know if there's been research on done it like subjectively of, you know, maybe murderers or something when they when they committed a murder, did they actually feel good deep down? I don't know. Maybe there's science on it, but I believe the the message coming from my spirit is that you can't harm someone and actually enjoy it. There might be a superficial thing like, yeah, fuck you, I need to hurt you back and enjoy the, the, like, the resent, but the revenge. But I don't think we're actually designed to do that. Hmm. I think the last place to finish off before you leave, you want to do some breathing? Yeah, we can do some breathing. You want to do some, and then people can join in if, if they're listening and watching? Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you guide this. You can pick any, you know... Uh, Modality, because there's mm. many, and any sequences that people can follow along with right now. You want to do a good one? <laughs> Only a good one, because you've shown me the well, Wim Hof. It's all good. It's all you, good. You've sh- the, the one where you'll um, breathe in more than you exhale, which which allows oxygen, more oxygenation of the blood and less CO2, so you're changing the pH. But let's go anywhere. Yeah. 
So I, they've, uh, more, more I've done education around this. Act, the more you can activate the pineal gland, mm-hmm. that's where the good stuff happens. Is there, is there science behind that, the pineal yeah, gland? being yeah, Joe Dispenza. Joe Dispenza. I've I'll, heard of I'll, him. I'll send you the video that is blew my mind. Okay. And this is like, it, it's base of, base of like Kundalini. Yep. Like energy centers going up through the chakras, getting energy into your third eye, you know, getting into the pineal gland, into the brain and activating it unlocks all of that good stuff let's unlock let's go let's go so we're gonna do this is my favorite one it's a nasal breath Mm -hmm. so you first of all want to make sure your nose is clear because you if it's not yeah you've got to like you got to clear it before you do it so if you're if you're listening you're watching and you want to clear your nose make sure you clear your nose because it's going to help a lot what we do is you you breathe in so i'm gonna i'll do a demo and then we'll go through it so Mm -hmm. you breathe in that's in mouth the mouth, breath. yeah, in the mouth. So a big breath in, and then you're gonna exhale out with your tongue out. So this is called a lion's breath. It's like expelling bad energy in the exhale. So it's, and then it's, that's like letting go of the shit. And then we're gonna stock up through the nose. You pull your nostrils apart. So there's a, you know, you open the cavity. So his fingers are on his cheeks, and he's pulling his, pulling his cheeks laterally to the side, and let your nostrils. Yeah, like you're flare. putting, like you're putting war paint on. On your cheeks. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. And pull your cheeks apart. So that's going to open up your cavity. Got it. All right. And then all we're going to do is you take a big breath and you pump your diaphragm and you and you breathe with the pump. So it's like... <laughs> so we're going to do 30 of those. Okay. On the 30th one, I'll say last breath. And you're going to go in through the nose as big as you can. And then you squeeze every muscle in your body and try and think about squeezing your brain. So this drives the energy up through your spine into your head. Okay. And then we're going to hold for 10 seconds squeezing. Yep. And then we're going to relax and see how you feel. Okay. 30. 30. I'll, I'll count. Don't don't you count. Don't think about it. I'll just, I'll, okay. I'll cue. Okay, beautiful. Yeah? Okay. Ready? What's the first step? Big breath in through the mouth. Ready? Oh, that's right. Five. Uh, the yeah, dragon. the lion's breath. Lion's breath. Ready? So in. <laughs> Tongue out. <laughs> Nostrils. Last one. Squeeze your body. And then relax. <sighs> Just tune in. Whoa. <laughs> one more. One more. You want three to five of these. Oh, I can feel like you can already feel like. So you feel like that light. Yeah. It's like I want more. Yeah. It's like so a drug, that's the man. pineal gland activating. It's and you got releasing all the endorphins through the spine. Yeah. And you can see it's like a skill. Like you got to do it a couple of times to yeah. really build the awareness. Yeah. Okay. So um, in again. Breath. Yep. <laughs> Fierce breaths. <laughs> Last one. Relax. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Get high on your own supply. That's you say that all the time. <laughs> man, how good does it feel? Yeah, and you could just if you can string a couple of like a handful of those together, man, you could change your fucking state. Dude, it's it's actually insane how much reward and benefit you can get out of this. It's it's honestly it's like a door to another universe. It's like a door to the better you. Yeah. You you your best self is on the other side of this breath work. You start to let go of yeah, your limitations course. you start to let go of your it's insecurities okay. yeah. like you it just becomes a world where you see cl- see clearer like honestly you do a few of those and you just go 
like plants look better it's like being high like people it's it's a natural high and it is that readily accessible all you have to do is breathe jordan potts i love you i appreciate you i'm grateful for you that there's people like you all sincerity can't wait to do this again when you come later in the year in august can't wait i know you're down for that i can't wait (laughs) i'm present um last message to the people any last comments thoughts um or where people can find more about yeah the so yoda man. i mean yeah yoda strength yoda strength is uh instagram or exalto holistic hub for what our you know what the business does what my uh my contribution to the world's doing yeah and yeah connect on instagram is definitely the easiest platform of there's you know a hundred percent chance i will reply yeah Probably not text, probably not Facebook Messenger. Instagram is the, is the go. And uh, I honestly just encourage people to start breathing. Yeah. Um, my my message is getting so... I'm, ga- I'm gaining so much more clarity in what I think is beneficial for people. And I do believe breath works the key. Mm. It just... It'll, it'll absolutely dissolve. It'll just clear all the bullshit and it will make you feel more like you. And... A, a warning sometimes it'll be emotional sometimes it'll bring up sadness sometimes it'll bring up you know things that you need to work through but it helps you work through them in a very positive way and then sometimes you're just on an absolute high you're vibing you're full of love you're abundant in energy and you it's it, everything's perfect but that's that's life right and i find that breathing is just that gateway to your spirit your energy I, I, and hit, people are probably hearing me saying spirit and oh yeah, is it, you know whatever, and they get a bit weird by spirit. Mm. It's spirit is your energy, your conscious contribution to the world. Mm. It's inside of you, and it wants to be positive. It wants to heal. It wants to love. It wants to be strong. So you can connect to that through breathing, and from there you can do anything. You can do absolutely anything. You get in con. You get in deep connection with your spirit and your purpose and you'll fucking you'll do anything you want jordan potts yoda man thank you much love thank you brother i love you see you soon you're a good man you too you are watching talking or listening to talking chimps do you expect us to behave do you expect a chimp to behave in a zoo and how are you going to expect us to behave? We're in a fucking zoo. It's called the fucking planet. Spinning around in a marble, hurling through space, wondering when the fuck we're going to get off this ride. Never. <laughs> we're stuck. And we're in a Milky Way, which is in another universe, and another universe, and another universe, and another universe.